loves and welcome to Bree's Project Book. If you're new to the channel, welcome, welcome. And if you're a BPB family, welcome back. This is a four-part series family room update. Come see how we change the space from top to bottom. This room is right off the kitchen. It's an open space to the foyer and sports bar below. What I want from this space is comfort, style, and creative spaces for storage. In this journey, you will witness the steps to each achievement. Let's get started. We will be upgrading every aspect of this room. The windows will have custom window shades from Blind Select. It was very easy to order and the instructions on how to measure was easy to follow. We saved quite a few dollars from accessories we already had like this gorgeous mirror with leather framing. A handsome piece of accessory we moved from the foyer to this room. The light fixture will come down and a chic ceiling fan with lights and remote will take its place. It will supply the needed light, style and air circulation we need in this space. Crown molding will be the next thing to give this room sophistication, luxury and resale value. The crown molding installation will be a DIY and it will give the room a big style that is inexpensive and eye appealing. The fireplace will get an upgrade also and we will repaint it with black heat resistant paint. We will show you how we achieve an inexpensive look for pennies and it's easy to do. You don't want to miss this DIY. Being an art lover, there will be stylish art of all kinds in this space. A lot of big style in a small space with wall art, mirrors, and accessories. Most of you know I'm a black and white girl. And my home show my signature colors throughout with splashes of color here and there. This room will not be an exception. The walls will have an accent of white on two sections of the wall. The bamboo floors will stay the same. But a stylish area rug will grace the area to accent the furniture and the room. You will be receiving a lot of tips and ideas on how to save money when creating or updating a room. I am so excited to bring you this great project that will be a four part series filled with tips, tricks and decor inspiration. I hope you will enjoy and I'll see you soon. Okay everyone, let's get started with day one. Now before we begin, there is some footage here that I wish I was able to take for you guys so you can see the actual beginning of the process. But hubby started while I was at work. We took down the valance from the window. We took the mirror down from the wall. And we also took the fireplace facing out of the wall. Then we start to tape up the walls too so we can have a nice straight lines but of course you know how this these things are. You try to get it adhesive to stick to the uh, wall as clean as possible but this is a knockdown wall and basically what that is there's plaster that's built up then knock the peats down to form a sort of design on the wall. The paint color that we have painted here is called Snowbound. The company is by Valspar. The paint is and it's an HGTV home designer paint and I wanted this very white color so it would be able to match the doors that that's already been painted and the baseboards. And I'm loving the way this look. It's a beautiful crisp white color. Very, very pretty and a very uh, contrasting color against the granola color that we had previously on the walls. Now this paint, this white color will be going every other wall so it shows a, a color block in the room. Guys, I am really loving how this looks. The white really pops that granola color wall paint that we had on the walls, on all four of the walls. But now with this white pops it, it's a great contrasting color against that granola color. And I just love the way it looks and how it turned out. And to have it on every other wall is gorgeous. So this is also a satin paint. Uh, so it'll be able to wipe down the walls nicely if they get marks on them. Well, that would do it for this episode, my friends. I hope you come back for day two where we will start on the fireplace. And that will be a DIY. So you guys shouldn't miss that. It's going to be a lot of tips and ideas. So I will see you guys on the next video.
If you love DIYs, decorating, organizing, and so much more, click the subscribe button and click the bell for new videos notification every week. Don't forget to visit my other social media platforms for ideas and tips to decorate, organize, or better your home living. Until the next time, my friends, smooches!